Alright guys, we're right back at you. As you can see, I'm putting troops all up in Belgian Congo West provinces. Just in case, guys, I need to deal with him. Um, one thing you have to learn about this game is you got to be ready to deal with internal conflict. Because that can kill you. That can absolutely kill you. And sometimes if you have an enemy in your camp, they wait for opportunities to strike. They wait for you to clear out. Like all of this here. I'm supposed to clear all that out. They wait for you to do that. So they can go ahead and sabotage you. You can be somewhere way over here. And when they see you then sent all your troops over here, here they go. Right backstabbing you. So I'm I'm experienced enough to know, and that's probably why you're like, well, why he ain't backstabbed you yet? Belgian Congo ain't gonna do nothing to you. He's not worried about you. I'm not giving him the opportunity to backstab me. That's the whole point. So as you can see how those spies work, it gives you a good picture of what you got going on. And now I know I can just run straight through here. He only got one soldier protecting that province. That's what that's the beauty of putting spies in place. Without that spy, it would just be a question mark. And I wouldn't know if I need to go that way or not, like right here. See, that's not we don't know what to do right here, but I know what to do right here. These ain't but two soldiers and I got tanks and everything else heading that way. So we're, we're, we're in great shape. We don't see no threat right here. I'm not worried about him taking that because that's not my goal. My goal is to stay away from Minas. Minas think he's slick. He's on his way. He's hunting me down like a wet dog. But I'm a, I'm, I got my eye on him and we're going to evade him at all costs. AIs, they usually don't know how to use their Air Force to that degree. Um, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. But you got to watch it, though. Got to watch it, though, because that's still a powerful amount of airplanes. And it can it can cause some serious damage if you're not paying attention. Okay. Remember, I was saying we got to kick Congo. Now. Remember, I made a mistake and sent Congo that, right? He say, why is that? So all of a sudden now, he's been AI, he hasn't moved, he hasn't done anything. But now I send this message and all of a sudden he's back on the game. You would have thought he was off the game, right? So I sent him a message. I said, I thought you were AI. You haven't moved at all. And I think that's the last thing. I don't even think we had any more correspondence after that. So I want you guys to pay attention to that. I said, we got to kick Congo. That was a mistake. I will admit that was a mistake. But then he says, why is that? And I explained to him why. I thought you were AI, which is a legitimate reason to kick someone from the coalition. So that's why I say Belgian Congo, I'm not worried about him. He ain't been playing. He's not been active. And he kind of comes across as if he's waiting to backstab, in my opinion. He has not been communicating. Could he be that piece that was supposed to do this and that in Africa? Remember, they had one coalition in every con on every continent so could he have been that other one or maybe not only difference is they didn't know that africa had a lot of um experienced players so one guy wasn't gonna be able to do that
Now that we protected our border, we're sending those airplanes north. Bringing reinforcements in case we get attacked again. All right, all right, all right. Say goodbye to all of our memories. Say goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My bad. My bad. You know, sometimes you just feel it. I thought that sounded pretty good, though. I thought I sounded all right. All right, we just getting through here, guys. Slow. Slow and steady. We just getting through that little swamp, that little quicksand. Let me give you guys a little piece of advice, right? One of the things that gives me confidence, I'm going to give you something that, you know, will give you a little confidence in this game. And it's just a little, this is this is not even, this is just something I'm throwing, I'm giving you this, this little nugget. So, think about it this way. Like, if you see, I got 700 guys over here. 100 right there. I got... So my other, I got 1,500 right there, another 100, so that's like 1,700 there. So you see, I got like 2,000 troops, right? And I got troops in other places as well, right? One thing I will never really do, unless I totally know I can replenish those troops, and I have a total advantage, one thing you will never see me do is go head up. And lose a whole stack of troops. Never do that. Never just go head up with somebody. And lose your troop. Because regardless of the case. You both lose. And you got some people out here. That really. They live life that way. They rather both of you lose. Than just walking away. And say you know what. We're both going to kill each other. So let's just have a truce so what i generally and, and so that would that's what gives me some level of peace when i play this game is that i will have troops but what i will do is i will consolidate my troops i will retreat and i will gather all my troops together in one location that becomes dangerous to any player Nobody want to. Nobody wants to have to fight against four thousand troops. I don't care if you lose all your provinces and you ain't got but two left. You got four thousand troops on it. You still are a problem. So what does that mean? You can negotiate. 
You can make deals. You can say, hey, I won't attack you if you let me live, if you let me expand, if you let me do this, if you let me join your coalition. Did you know you can win this game as long as you're in a coalition? That don't mean you got to have a thousand provinces. All right, I'm going to leave y'all with that. Uh, stay tuned. Um, if you caught that, then you got a jewel. If you didn't, rewind it and listen to it again. But uh, we'll be right back with another video, guys.